Uh, my name is Lauren. Um, I'm a waitress at TGI Fridays, um, and I'm also an activist on the um, Unite TGI Fridays Fair Pay Fair Tips campaign. Um, it started back in January, really. That was probably the catalyst um, when we were informed with two days' notice that we would be losing front of house staff would be losing 40% of their card tips um, to back of house staff, to the kitchen, um, a move which we strongly believe was made instead of giving the kitchen an actual pay rise. Um, this is not about not wanting to share, we are happy to share tips but all departments need to be receiving a wage they can live on, money they can live on, you can't take such a significant portion of our earnings from one department and give to another department. Um, just to save a big company money, it's not fair. Um, so that's why we're currently in a dispute with the company. There was a lot of people who were unhappy. Um, you'd go into another store and say, oh, what do you think about the 40% um, tip policy? And it, it, was, it was clear straight away that people didn't like it. People felt betrayed, people felt um, angry, but they didn't quite know what to do, which is, I think, why we turned to the union. Um, we tried to talk to the company directly, we emailed, we tried to call, um, and the responses people did get weren't sufficient, and some people didn't even get responses. Um, so Unite have been able to liaise on our behalf and have got a little more response, but still, at the moment, it's not as much as we would like. They're still refusing to come to the table um, to just discuss our concerns and to work towards a resolution. Yeah, we'll get there. Yeah, we are on um, minimum wage um, and we also have youth rates. So um, the 18, 19, 20 year olds doing the same job as me are on £5.80, whereas I'm lucky enough to be on £7.83. Um, so tips make a huge difference to that. They're, that there shouldn't be any age differential in pay. Their rent isn't any cheaper than mine. Their, their, their food doesn't cost any less to buy. Um, so tips make a, an enormous difference. Um, and the, 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 it, it kind of angers us when every time that the, the company make a statement to the press, they say, oh, well, we, we pay our staff the minimum wage. Blah, blah, blah. Like it's something to be proud of. You pay the legal minimum wage, it would be illegal for you to pay us less. You're basically saying if you could legally pay us less, you would. <laughs> like, um, we're actually, if a guest asks us where the tip goes, we're completely honest. Um, I get 60%, the kitchen get 40%, um, and the majority of people seem a little bit confused by this. Um, you'll often have, especially older people, going, well, if I give you cash, do you get the whole lot? And they kind of put it, put it in your penny and, no, this is for you, it's for service, thank you, this is for you. Um, of course, you have a lot of people who, are, who still tip on card because they're like, oh, that's fine, at least it's going to the staff and not the company. 100%, 100%, the, the kitchen deserve more money. Our argument is that the more money shouldn't have come from what we were used to earning. It, it is... In effect, a pay cut for the front of house staff who've been there 5, 10, 15 years and have been used to earning this amount, to then be losing 40% less of those card tips when every year more and more people pay on card, cash tips get less every year. It, it was just a huge change um, and a huge loss. Yeah, there's definitely other issues in restaurants surrounding tips. There's loopholes they use to get around. So as is what you might call a Robin Peter to pay Paul technique, you take from one department to boost the wages of another. Um, we've heard of some restaurants that are even taking percentages of tips from the waiting staff to boost the manager's salaries. Like they, they can't even pay their managers a proper salary, they have to boost it with tips. That boggles the mind. On top of that, you've got restaurants like Aqua Italia and La Saganas who've been in the news for what people are calling the table tax. So they take like a 2 or 3% of, of, of the total sales and you have to pay that at the end of the night. Whether you've earned that in tips or not, it, it, it's just ridiculous. There's a lot of different techniques they use. Admin fees. There's been a lot of companies in trouble over admin fees. They skim a percentage off the top and say, oh, you know, well, that bitch costs us. No, that money was given by guests for the server, for the service. You can't skim off the top. And, and, and if you want to make the argument of fairness and, and you want to make the argument that the guests want to tip the kitchen and they want to tip, put that option on the card machine. Put the option on the card machine and let the guests decide whether they tip the kitchen or the server and how much they serve. To support the Fair Tips campaign, the best thing you can do is uh, tipping cash. Um, because under the current law, 
card tips legally belong to the company. They belong to whoever processes the transaction. Cash tips legally belong to the server. When you give that to the server as a gift, as a gratuity, it belongs to them. Now there are still pubs and restaurants where we're hearing of them even taking the cash off of the server. Um, so I would encourage you, if you work in a restaurant where they're taking cash, or your daughter or your son or your cousin works in a restaurant and you know they're taking a percentage of the cash, that is illegal and we do need to clamp down on it. You do need to target where you can, where they're doing these illegal practices. Um, and then we need to go to the government to stop the practices that, although not illegal, are clearly unethical and immoral and just wrong.